How's it going today, everybody? We've got another review on this fine Wednesday, continuing the cycle for the G Fest 2019 uh, re celebration. And just because I wanted to review this figure, uh, we've got the SH Figuarts Ultraman Belial Belial. I'll probably stick with Belial. Um, the other reason I'm doing this video is because Mill Creek uh, released the Ultra Galaxy Mega Movie or Mega Monster Battle series set and the Ultraman Zero sets. So I thought I would review the Arch ne Nemesis and I've watched quite a bit of it already. I've spent pretty much all of today watching them and it sounds like it's Belial. So we're going to stick with that. All right, let's bring them in close. So obviously... Ultraman Belial is one of the only evil Ultraman. Um, I'm going to guess since there's been like 14 different series that I'm not fully caught up on. There's probably another one or two, um, not including like the evil version of like Jeet and stuff. So, But this is one of the base. So he has got a way different color scheme. He's infected by the ray blood. Thus, he's more of this black and red with the purple color timer. That never seems to go out. Um, but he looks good. Look at those eyes. Uh, it's clear plastic with the orangey red. Um, it just looks really good. It looks menacing. I kind of wish there was an additional head to where there was some that were just flat red. But I'm honestly, I expect probably to get a Kaiser Belial eventually. Um, these movies and anything dealing with Ultraman Zero sounds like hotcakes. Um, the other thing you can kind of notice, and it's, I can't, it looks fine when comparing it to the movie, but pretty much all the red parts are shiny, and the black is matte, so he shines, but he kind of looks like that in the movie too, now that I finally get to see it in, you know, at least a really good HD quality, instead of all the bootlegs from, you know, younger years. So, um, he's a thick boy too, <clears throat> excuse me, very thick, very muscly. Um, he's also got a hunch. Technically, he's supposed to be even more hunched. He's supposed to be more like that. Um, he probably actually could be a little bit bigger in the chest area. Um, they even made the suit to where he's, or the body, like, he's supposed to be like that. But he is supposed to be hunched over quite a bit. So, because, you know, I guess evils have a little bit of a lean to him. I don't know. But he looks good. He, proportion-wise, he looks good. Um... I personally think, now after seeing both movies, I think I would like him a little bit bigger. Like, just thicker, a little bit more mass. But I think for the scaling of the SH Figure Arts, he's perfect. It's just that, you know, I'm used to Dragon Ball Z, so I, I kind of like my figures a little bit bulkier. So, um, let's get into the articulation. So, this guy's got actually quite a bit. The head can look all the way up, all the way down, and then of course with Ooh, excuse me, the neck joint, it's just crazy, crazy, oops, sorry, crazy angles, uh, the head doesn't twist and turn too much, because it's more of an oval shape, but then you get the neck, and you get the rest of the articulation, though you do kind of get weird spots, so obviously be mindful when you're doing it, um, and then you also have to watch for the back fin, make sure you're not hitting up against anything, and that you're being careful of where you have it because if you hit this you're gonna break it you know what I'm saying the mouth opens and closes a little bit I wish it just had a little bit more just a little bit more but it's enough you, you still notice it it's just not as noticeable the shoulders raise up 90 degrees almost and then they twist spin all that jazz. Um, one of the downsides, he doesn't have a good upper arm twist. He's got a little bit, but it's not like major. So that's one thing, just because he's got those bulky shoulders. So I guess maybe that's why, if it's not completely as thick as he should be, maybe that's why they toned it down. He does have a bicep or a butterfly joint that swings out. It's a, it's enough. You can you can give him even more of a evil look, you know, villain. Esque. Uh, his elbow joint, just past 90. Could be more, yes, but it's not enough. Um, his wrist tilts and spins 
all the way around just like the regular Tamashi joints, though they are a bit small, so watch out. Don't go too gung-ho with those. His upper chest has a lot of range, actually, so he can go pretty far up, and he can go kind of down. He's got twist and lean. Then the bottom is a little tight, can go even more down, so you get a really good, like, ab crunch. He can... It doesn't really lean back, but because the upper joint does that, it's kind of like the, the joints complement each other. It doesn't lean a lot, but then it has a little bit of twist as well. So the joints pretty much complement each other. It's, it's a nice combo. I think it's more than enough for this character. He does a lot of the up evil, you know, up evil laughing, I'm better than you things, so he, he gets that done easy. He's got the updated leg joints, so they go all the way out. They don't go really far back. He's got kind of a butt on him. He's got a really good thigh twist, so you can actually get him at a decent, you know, downward kick move, which, as I'm starting to remember watching all these series, pretty much every single Ultraman does that. Every single Kaiju does that. It's really weird, but it's typical, you know, silly tokusatsu, so... His knees, actually pretty good, um, way better than the elbows, so, and they don't look that bad either. And then the ankle joints, here, doesn't have a lot of far down movement, and almost has no up, so that's not good. He does have a lot of rock though, so that's nice, and then they twist and turn a little bit, not too much, it's a little tight, so actually... Mine doesn't want to twist at all, so maybe maybe don't twist. Don't twist it side to side. And he's got his evil pointy toe. So, not bad. Um, you can definitely tell this figure started to age a little bit. This came out in late 2018, early 2019, if I remember correctly, I think. I know I had him on pre-order, and then I canceled him, and then I got him at G-Fest, so... Uh, maybe maybe it was like early 2019, maybe March or like April. I remember he got held back for a while. So, all right. Well, that's about it for the articulation. How about I make a quick cut here and we move on to the accessories? I'll be right back. Guys. All right, and here we have the swappable hand pieces. Um, so on the figure, I didn't show him, but he has fist slash uh, Giga Battle Nizer holding hands. Uh, they're the same hand. They didn't want to remold them, so that's whatever. He then comes with these style relaxed semi claw style, you know, fight pose hands. These are my favorite out of the bunch. These just look nice. I love how sharp the claws are. Completely accurate to the design. It's just got that evil, like, come over here and join me, be my servant, you know, as he's constantly telling Ray and Zero and anyone he comes in contact to because he's kind of an asshole. Then, he also has these wide splayed hands. Uh, once again, can use it for blocking pretty much anything. Uh, look good. <laughs> wow, what grammar. Uh, they look really good. Uh, pointy design, once again. It's just, they didn't knock it out of the park. The one thing I wish they would have included, though, is that they could have used one more set with posable fingers. I kind of get why they don't, because we all know what happens when you have posable fingers. Or, there's two things that happens when you have posable fingers. They either break really easy or everyone's going to have middle fingers. But quite honestly, I think uh, this Ultraman could use a middle finger. So, all right, let's swap right out into the Giggle Battle Giga Battle Nizer. And all right, here's the Giga Battle Nizer. Um, try saying that four times in a row. Uh, here's the long version. The ends just pop out, which is the same way it plugs into their hands. Uh, regrettably, both uh, the short staff and the long staff, they're held, but it's not the best. You really got to try to angle it a little bit so the ends weigh it in his hand. Otherwise, it just slides right in and out. So that's a little disappointing. The other thing I really, really, really wish this figure came with now that I've seen the movie again, a set of red ends... I get standard, the ends in here are blue, but it would have been nice to have uh, red ones as well. Uh, otherwise, the, sta the staff here is just typical gunmetal gray uh, look. 
six. So, but they both kind of fit in there, but they kind of don't as well. So have fun holding it. All right, let me get them into a pose quick, and then uh, we'll finish up this review with a few size comparisons and the ending thoughts. So I'll be right back. All right, so the size comparisons, I've got two here for you. Obviously, we're going to have him up against his main ne nemesis, Zero. Um, I'm going to be honest, even though they're both a little posed, a little wonky and bent, Zero's a little bit bigger than him. And, or a little bit taller, I should say. And that's just not quite right. I get he's hunched over and stuff. Like, right now he looks fine, but when Zero's up and tall, he's actually quite a bit taller than him. And it doesn't quite look like that in the movie. Um, they look more even, or if Belial wasn't hunched over, he actually would probably be taller. But maybe that's just because of placement of them in their fight so they still look good though i like this i can't wait to take pictures of belial with zero so there's that size comparison and then the last one we're gonna do is a figure probably just about everyone has now or has some variation of i'm gonna use the 2021 uh godzilla vs kong legendary godzilla uh godzilla's obviously bigger the ultraman line is quite a bit smaller than the godzilla line why it's in the figure arts and not the monster art scale um but it looks cool it kind of can make up a storyline where maybe he gets godzilla and then he, the ultraman have to free godzilla or something i don't know something crazy something nice um also as a quick side note uh i've got a email saying kong is processing so hopefully by the end of the week i also had the movie monster series godzilla and king Ghidorah: the ride figures coming so be on the lookout for those reviews and uh, let me get him in a pose and we'll finish up this review. All right, and we got Belial just in a pretty simple pose here. Uh, nothing too crazy. I'll say that for the photo shoot and the uh, obvious uh, the video picture. So this figure is awesome, actually. Uh, it's why he's one of the few SHV Arts Ultraman figures I kept. Because, well, one, I've just got a lot of nostalgia and biasness to Zero and Belial. And quite honestly, I just love his design. I love this figure. I'm glad I got him way back when. Um, I'm going to have a lot of fun with him. So uh, he's going to get an 8 out of 10. He's really good. Pretty expensive nowadays. You're definitely not going to get him at retail. That's why I'm kind of thinking maybe we'll get a Kaiser one with his cape and everything. Though I'm going to guess it's just going to be one big mold of plastic. So maybe it's good if they don't. So... Uh, but hopefully, I, I wouldn't mind owning a Kaiser uh, variation of this figure with the scar and even a little bit bigger with the cape. Uh, so if you guys liked it, uh, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. I really appreciate it. We are one subscriber away from 50, so we're at the first big milestone halfway through the year, four months into the channel. Uh, so I would really appreciate it if you're a new viewer to stay and stick around. I've got way more kaiju goodies planned. Um, I've got some big things coming out this year, especially in July, so be on the lookout for that. This is Kajume Addict once again, signing off. Stay safe, guys. Peace. And, uh, go enjoy Ultra Mega Monster Battle and your Ultra Zero movies. Later.